Well, tomorrow, jurors begin deliberating the fate of Baltimore's former top prosecutor, Marilyn Mosby. WMAR 2 News, Brittany Verner has been following the trial all week at the federal courthouse in Greenbelt and brings us a timeline of today's events. Two perjury charges is what former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby is facing right now. The jury ended today with instructions from the judge after closing arguments, and they're expected to return Thursday morning for a full day of deliberations. The government says the case was built on the information, which shows Marilyn Mosby took funds out of her retirement account, and she claimed adverse financial consequences due to COVID as the reason she qualified for the funds under the CARES Act. However, even though the money came from her retirement funds, the government says they don't believe she suffered adverse financial consequences because she made around a quarter of a million dollars a year and was never laid off. They also believe her retirement funds should not have been accessed because the money is, quote, owned by the employer until one is old enough or eligible to withdraw, unquote. The defense mentioned in their closing arguments that Mosby believes she was facing adverse financial consequences due to COVID after her travel business was paused due to the pandemic. They also said the government has to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Mosby made a false statement and knowingly and willfully lied on the CARES Act form, something they believe the government hasn't been able to do. That's part of the reason Mosby felt the need to not take the Stand. I think she made the right decision. It means that her belief is similar to ours that the government, the government just didn't do enough, in our opinion, to force her to actually come up from the trial table and take the stand and have to say anything because based upon what they presented, um, it definitely did not appear to meet their burden, which is beyond reasonable doubt. The jurors were sent home today with instructions from the judge on how not to discuss any information concerning this case with anyone. They're expected to report back on Thursday morning for a full day of deliberations, leaving the fate of Marilyn Mosby's trial in the hands of the jury. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.